Absolutely gorgeous trail. Alrighty. Here we are, back on the Appalachian Trail in New Jersey. Oh, and it's a chilly morning. Oh, I'm shivering. Can't wait to get hiking to get warm. Not exactly sure what the uh, what the plan is for camping. There's a couple of options, but I'm not sure <laughs> any of them are good options. I mean, the goal is to complete a section, right? So all I have to do is get to the next parking lot, which is 15 miles away. I'm kind of winging it for now because I don't really know what I'm doing. I have an A plan, a B plan, neither of which I like. So I'm hoping for a, a C plan, which is better. <laughs> Man, I forgot how super muddy this part of the trail is going up. It's been like this for a long ways. All right, well, we're about three miles in and this is the backpackers campground where I stayed at my on my last outing and it was pretty nice um, I, I didn't really care much for the long grass and rocks uh, there's really no dirt anywhere you can't really make a campfire but uh, you know it's got a privy it's got a bear box it's got a nice view um, so all in all I can't complain it's got running water so it was good Gorgeous. Well, wow. 
even though this is a gorgeous section of trail, this is not actually the AT. <laughs> yep. I missed a turn back there. And I went for a little while, didn't see a blaze. And then a couple of a couple of through hikers came caught up to me. And the one guy was chasing his buddy and said, hey, this isn't the trail. And uh, I kind of suspected that I was off track and that just confirmed it for me. <laughs> so now all three of us are backtracking. Oh, there's a white blaze. So wait a minute. I backtracked too much. There's a white blaze right there. So when did I get off track? Can't be this way. Oh, can it? It can be this way. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Alrighty. I don't see. It. Oh. And I've got my eyes peeled for snakes. I haven't seen one yet, but I know they're out here. glider I believe I don't know if I'm even getting it on camera yeah he just let the uh, he just let the glider go and he turned turned off and now somebody's up there just gliding I've never seen that before in person that's pretty cool definitely a nice windy day for it well I just passed a uh, little area for camping even though it's right on trail but uh, any port in the storm right if there's nothing else you could definitely make do there and it just so happens to be right by a nice little stream right here look at that nice little stream and we have a water crossing Well, that's where I just came from and I'm in a nice big open clearing here very windy up here and uh, pretty cool view and even though it's it's about 80 degrees today with this wind up here I actually feel a little bit chilly Maybe it's just my uh, my sweat cooling me off. But it's nice to see the variety of terrain. One thing that's consistent, however, is the rocks. They have not let up. No matter what the terrain looks like, the path is always consistent.
All right, what do we got up here now? Big pile of rocks. What's this all about? I guess the pile of rocks is so you can stand up here and get a better view. Um, let me think. I guess this would be the north side. And this would be the south side, I guess. You see a blaze right there. So I know I'm still on trail. Let's see if we can find another blaze somewhere. I'm guessing the trail goes over this way. Not really seeing any markings, but there's pretty much no other way to go, I think. Nice place for a tent. A little windy though, but that would be an awesome tent spot. Uh, it's been a long time since I filmed. I've been just going and going and going. Um, I'm in 10 miles now, and I just passed the uh, Mohican Outdoor Center, or at least the road that goes to it, uh, about one or two miles back. Um, and there were some campsites there, so uh, right now that's looking like the best option for me is to go to the next parking lot, which is my turnaround point, and then head back. So that's going to be it's going to be about five miles to the parking lot, which means it's going to be a ten mile out and back, and that'll put me at about twenty for the day, plus maybe one or two to get all the way back. So it might be like a 22 mile day. Wow, look at that view. And so a 22 mile day, totally doable. And that seems like the best plan right now. Check this out, man. Man, one slip and you're a goner. I don't even want to get anywhere near the edge of that. It's pretty fierce up here. Oh, it looks like it's 
it's uh, it looks like it's locked, but that's okay. Nope, I'm not lost. This is the AT. It comes out from there. And then up here a little ways, it crosses the road and goes that way. So, just a little fun to break up the monotony of banging your feet on the rocks. <laughs> I don't mind it at all. Oh boy, what do we have here? Am I supposed to walk into the lake? Nope, oh, the trail goes this way. But still, the lake seems to want to overflow onto the trail. Huh. So, let's see. Oh, we got some kind of drainage pipe going on over here. And a little bridge. Huh. Wow. And... I'm guessing it's that way. I don't see anything over here. Or is it this way? Oh man. Let me take a few steps in this way to see if it goes this way. Oh, I see blazes. It must be this way. Okay. I think those are AT blazes. I'm not really sure. I think I'm still on the AT. See, you got these green and white blazes. Does that mean it's the AT or not the AT? It's the uh, it's a uh, alternate trail. I don't know. What does it mean? Let me check the GPS just to make sure. Not that that's going to really tell me exactly, but. Uh, I think I see people down there. Huh. Yeah, let me just check to make sure. All right, I'm back on trail. That, that little side trail was not the correct way. The correct way was straight. So I'm back on the AT. And looking back at that beaver pond, looks pretty amazing from here. Wow. Look at that thing. This is exactly the kind of place where snakes like to hang out. All right, back in the woods. All right, well, I made it to the parking lot which is right over there and it is what is it 
2004. It's like three, like 340. And uh, I ended up going about 16 and a half miles instead of 15 miles, like what I thought. But I did make the 15 mile mark by three o'clock, like I thought. Uh, there just was no parking lot. I was still a mile and a half away, so I ended up doing 16 and a half. But whatever. So right now I'm going to take a little break. So I'm going to eat that and some jalapeno cashews. So that's my lunch at 4 o'clock. And then I'm going to haul ass back that way. And so back on trail. And I really can't complain about the last mile or so up to the parking lot because it you know, kind of looks like this for the last half of it and then leading up to this part it's like the nicest super easy super cruisy trail that you could want with just dirt and it's nice and soft and it feels good on your feet oh man not complaining at all about the last mile up to this parking lot so I don't know if that means we're uh, at the end of the Pennsylvania style pointy jabby rocks at this point in New Jersey or not and I won't know that until I find out I'll find that out in the next adventure <laughs> when I explore the next section of New Jersey Okay, so I think I have found where I'm going to sleep tonight. So there's this huge area right off of, I'm right off of Millbrook Road, where I did the, uh, <clears throat> the road hike earlier today. Basically the, a road crossing where you have to hike up the road a little bit. Um, on my way back, I filled up on water. I think it's called the Fountain of Youth Spring. And... As I'm coming up the road, there's all these campsites. So I just kind of wandered in here. But the nice thing about this is that it's off trail. Um, I'm going to probably hang right here, but I'm pretty far deep in here. And so if more people do show up, uh, hopefully there'll be plenty of room for everybody. Um, I had to hike through a couple of other campsites to get to where I am. But basically... The entranceway... is over here. This road out here is the Appalachian Trail. So right here, this is the AT. Uh, that's northbound. That's where I hiked earlier today and came back. That's where I filled up on water. And that's the way back home. And this is the entrance. So it's tucked back in there pretty far. And on the other side of the street, there's even more campsites. So there's tons of campsites in this area. And there's some other people camping nearby. And there's probably going to be some noise, but hey... What else is new? It's summer backpacking. Everybody's out here. It's, you know, it's part of the deal. And look back here, there's, back here there's even more. I didn't, I didn't find any uh, trees I liked over on this side, otherwise I would have stayed over here. I mean, I could have made something work, but nothing was really ideal. But, Tons of space if you got a tent. No problem at all. I can always find two trees for a hammock. So, you know, I was all, I was all uh, pumped up to, to, you know, do a 25 mile hike today. You know, really pump it out. I could, I could totally do it. I could keep on hiking. I was going to stay at the, uh, there's some campsites near the Mohican Outdoor Center. And that would have been maybe another couple of miles from here. But it would have been like right on trail. Not as ideal. And I figured, eh, you know, it's 
It's six o'clock, I hiked 20 miles today. What am I trying to prove, right? So, that's where I'm at. All right, so I'm gonna set up and then get some dinner going. And I cannot wait to get in my hammock and just relax. Amazing. All right, well, I'm gonna try and get out of here. Some other people showed up last night, so I'm trying to be quiet. Moving right along, I figure we got about 13 miles to get back to where we started. And, huh, trail goes that way. I think I missed this view yesterday. I probably walked right past it. Let's just see what it is. Okay, good morning, New Jersey. Thirteen miles to get back, but uh, you know, I'm just gonna enjoy the day, not in a rush. The return hike is always more comfortable and less stressful. <clears throat> I pretty much I'm more uh, mentally prepared for the hike you know day one is always uh, the challenge day you know you're trying to reach a goal you don't know exactly how far it is you know you know roughly how far it is but you don't know what the trail is going to throw at you in terms of obstacles so and you don't know where you're going to sleep that night there's a little bit of stress involved in day one And it always takes longer than what you thought. It's always harder than what you thought. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's always very rewarding when you hit your goal and you find a place to camp. And it's very satisfying. But then 
the return hike is just I know exactly what lies ahead I know exactly how far to go I don't have to worry about where I'm gonna to sleep tonight because I'm just heading back to the car it's the more enjoyable day as far as hiking goes because I can just relax I'm probably not gonna film that much today because I've already shown pretty much all the major features from yesterday and uh, it's really just a more enjoyable day to hike Okay, so I didn't film this part yesterday, but this is the uh, road that goes to the AMC uh, Mohican Outdoor Center. Um, I'm not going to go there right now, but uh, after I get back to the car, maybe I'll drive up there just to check it out. Nice running water here, nice little bridge, and up here a ways, if I remember correctly, there were at least one or two campsites, I believe. Okay, so I came up a little ways from that stream, and here were the campsites that I saw on my way down. Still, not as nice as where I stayed. It would have worked in a pinch, I guess. I don't know where I would have set up. But yeah, it, it would have worked. I would have found something. Anyway, I think I made the right call. Absolutely gorgeous trail. But rocky. It's gorgeous, but don't look at it. Otherwise, you'll bust your face tripping on these rocks. Well, I'm just stopping to have a little bit of lunch here. We've got sun-dried tomato basil tuna, spoon included. That's exciting. And we've got uh, salt and pepper cashews. They made it back. That was a long adventure. Uh, all right, so section one of the New Jersey Appalachian Trail completed. 
and man that was that was way tougher than I expected uh, there weren't a lot of elevation climbs or anything it wasn't that uh, it was just really just the, uh, the terrain and the rocks uh, it was pretty bad um, the views were awesome can't complain about that uh, probably better than what you find in Pennsylvania but um, yeah you work for it you really work for it 